That horrific home invasion in which a college student was killed, her twin sister racing to escape. With the suspect inside, police arrive, and that's when he put the other sister in a headlock, taking aim at the officers. They shoot back, and that young woman was killed. She was remembered today at the Hofstra graduation, and here tonight, ABC's Lindsay Janis. What should have been a happy day for so many turned bittersweet. My thoughts and our prayers are with Andrea's family and with her friends and classmates. Graduates at Hofstra University wearing white ribbons and pausing for a moment's silence to honor fellow student Andrea Ribello. Just two days ago, the 21-year-old was killed by police gunfire during an armed robbery at her off-campus home. After a night out celebrating the end of finals, Ribello and her twin sister Jessica returned home with their roommate and a friend. That's when police say 30-year-old Dalton Smith came in through an unlocked door and robbed them. Smith took valuables, but he wanted more. So he sent the twin's roommate to an ATM. She bolted and called 911. He told her if she did not return within eight minutes, he would kill one of the individuals in the house. Moments later, officers arrived to find Smith holding Ribello in a headlock, pointing a gun at her head and saying, I'll kill her, I'll kill her. When Smith pointed his gun at the police officer, the officer fired eight shots, seven striking and killing the suspect and one bullet taking Ribello's life too. Tonight, Andrea's family are mourning the loss of their daughter, who was an inspiration to many. Andrea had a bit of advice that she took from a Barb Mar Marley song, and it was, live the life you love and love the life you live. Well, the officer who fired the shots is described as highly decorated. Police are investigating the shooting. David, we've spoken to several law enforcement officials today who say the officer likely had no choice but to shoot back once the suspect had turned the gun on him.